All right, let's geek out to our uh, weather situation here across the valley. It's been a busy day today. We had some raucous thunderstorms very early this morning, the pre-dawn hours, that uh, not only brought a lot of lightning and thunder, but tons and tons of rain, a lot of flooding problems in Trumbull and Mercer counties. Here's some 24-hour uh, rainfall totals from some rain gauges. Uh, at my house in Boardman, I'm approaching an inch, similar number in downtown Youngstown here at the studio, and approaching an inch Berlin Center as well. Newton Falls to Warren and Niles and heading over towards Vienna, Brookfield, Mercer. That corridor through there is where we had the highest totals earlier on today. Rain gauge up in Newton Falls, up over two inches, inch and a half in Mercer. Some, rain, some uh, rainfall uh, estimates here by the radar. Now down in southern Columbiana County, we also had some pretty heavy storms. So down towards East Liverpool, uh, pretty close to two inches. Same idea, Wellsville over to Selineville, but the highest amounts were Trumbull and Mercer. Uh, a lot of flooding problems earlier on today around uh, the Brookfield area. And uh, three, three and a half inches pretty common from uh, Vienna to Sharon and heading over towards Pymac Tuning and Fredonia, Stoneboro as well. Now at the airport where the official Youngstown weather records are kept, this is now the seventh wettest calendar day on record. Look at this number, 3.77 inches of rain as of 7.30 this evening. Now, we're going to add to this. It's going to rain most of the night tonight, and we'll see what the number ends up being before midnight. I suspect we're going to climb to at least sixth place and might even get up to fifth or fourth place uh, before the evening is through as we approach four inches at the airport. Now, the wettest day on record in Youngstown, uh, you may remember this back in 2003, tremendous flooding problems across parts of the region with up over uh, four inches worth of rain at the airport. So seventh place for now, but we expect to climb this list this evening. All right, at 7.35 this evening, light to moderate rain falling just about everywhere, including in the heart of our viewing area in Mahoning County along 224 and heading up towards downtown Youngstown. Some moderate rain falling here outside our studios in downtown Youngstown. We are thankfully missing out on the big storms. Out to our east, the severe weather threat has always been mostly south and east of Youngstown today, but thankfully it even stayed south and east of Columbia and Lawrence counties. It's been much more of a problem. Panhandle of West Virginia, southwestern PA, and now heading up into west central parts of PA, Altoona, Johnstown, over towards State College, and eventually, eventually uh, Williamsport as well. A swath of wind damage today from southeast Ohio, Parkersburg, Marietta area and then heading over into areas south and east of Pittsburgh. And a severe thunderstorm watch is still out this evening. Pittsburgh, Dubois, State College, Altoona, down to Morgantown. Uh, this is in effect until 11 o'clock this evening. All right, back here at home. What you see is what you get. Now, what we're not going to see tonight is the deluge, a ton of rain in a short amount of time like we had last night. This will be a much more gentle rain. Occasionally it's going to get kind of heavy. But most of the time it's, it's a light pitter-patter on your roof kind of a rain for most of the night tonight. And it's going to continue into a good chunk of the day tomorrow. Kids will be busting out umbrellas at the bus stop tomorrow morning and just plan on a, just pretty much a soaker of a Friday morning with light rain falling just about all morning. Our rain chances peak in the morning and early afternoon on Friday, but even as we get into the evening on Friday, still a pretty high chance of some showers around uh, as we go towards sunset to Friday evening. So it's going to rain just about everywhere all morning on Friday. And then, uh, more scattered in nature as we go towards the end of the day. So here's a look at our uh, future cast model here showing that light to moderate rain midday Friday. Now, one thing with the temperature tomorrow, it's going nowhere. With this north wind, uh, this is what we call cold advection, colder air pushing in with the rain falling. Uh, temperatures will level off tonight in the lower 50s, stay there for a few hours tomorrow morning, and then actually start falling. We'll end up in the 40s tomorrow afternoon. Raw weather. Right into tomorrow evening, here's kickoff of high school football, still some showers around. And then hit or miss type of activity Saturday. I don't think Saturday is nearly as wet as Friday. But I think there'll be a shower here and there. And once again, these chilly north to northwest winds. Uh, this is going to be uh, a real November preview on Saturday with temperatures probably holding in the 40s. Sunday, even though you see some clouds on the model here, I think will be a dry Sunday. I think we'll see some sun and it will be warmer as a result. We'll get up to about 60 or so. All right, on top of what's already fallen, models indicating an average of an inch or two uh, for the rest of the night tonight and during the day Friday with not much additional rain Friday night and into Saturday. Notice our lines kind of level off here. So uh, plan on at least another inch worth of rain in most of the area 
before all is said and done. At least we're not seeing the frozen stuff. Look at the snow. First significant snow of the season falling uh, this weekend up in the Adirondacks in upstate New York. Uh, some places could get a foot in the highest terrain up there in northern New York. And then even heading down into the Mohawk Valley, uh, maybe not in the lowest elevations, but certainly some places in here uh, east of Syracuse, kind of between Syracuse and Albany, could could see, especially on non-paved surfaces, you know, enough to shovel and plow. So uh, New York getting some pretty decent snows this weekend. All right, Saturday, I mentioned it's going to be a chilly, raw day. Actual temperatures, upper 40s Saturday. Wind chills, Saturday. It's going to be a blustery day. It's not going to feel much warmer than 40 degrees. Saturday afternoon. All right, let's talk about next week's weather pattern. Here's a look at the European uh, ensemble model temperature output for the next 16 days. A coolish week next week. Our average highs next week are in the middle and upper 50s. We'll probably be below that Monday through Wednesday. And then there are some signs in the modeling that towards the end of next week into next weekend, there'll be a modest warm up. And I mean modest. Uh, could we? Push into the 60s some of this time. Yeah, that's possible as we wrap up October around Halloween into early November. Doesn't look like a particularly cold pattern, but it doesn't look as warm as it was earlier this week either. So uh, kind of, you know, kind of typical stuff for late October coming for a, a good chunk of next week. That's tonight's weather for Weather Geeks. More updates throughout the evening and on 21 News at 11. Uh, as far as the rain goes, the weekend forecast and all the other stuff you need to know. So I'll see you on TV and I will see you back here tomorrow evening.